This is Chicho. What I wanted to do in this video was show you a couple of tricks uh, that I've learned of um, how to learn your multiplication table. A couple of hand tricks anyway. Now, this the first one uh, is a trick that I've known for a long time and it works for multiplying nine by any single digit number. And the second trick is something that I just learned like a couple of weeks ago uh, from a student uh, that helps you remember how to multiply six, seven, eight, nine and ten together okay so what you do is you take your pinky you go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and those are your, your ten digit numbers right your ten fingers and if you want to multiply any of these numbers with nine what you end up doing is going down the row so let's say we want to multiply three times nine right so we're going to go one two three you pull down the third finger, right? And three times nine is 27, right? If you're looking at it first person, it comes out as two and a seven, which is 27, right? And this works for all 10 numbers. So let's just go through the whole thing and uh, we can see that it works for all of them, right? So again, we, we can do, if we do one times nine, you go just hold down the finger, go down to one, hold down the finger, and one times nine is just nine if you do two times nine you go one one two and pull this back and it's 18 right three times nine is 27 four times nine is 36 five times nine is 45 six times nine is 54 seven times nine is 63 eight times nine is 72 nine times nine is 81 and 10 times 9 is 9 and you got a 0 at the end so it's 90 right you hold out your hands again it's the same thing you hold out your hands and what you do is instead of going 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 right you hold out your hands and you take your uh, thumbs and you call this 6 and the next one is 7 8 9 10 right so this trick helps you multiply six all the way up to ten and what you do is let's say you want to multiply um, six times eight right so either hand you take you pick the number six and on the other hand you go to the number eight right so six seven eight nine ten right so I'm gonna take six and connect it up with number eight right and if you're looking at it first person perspective it might make more sense to you right so six times eight and what you do now is every finger including the two that are touching before where you're connecting and up to connecting you count as as tens right so this is 10 20 30 40 right so that's 40 you have right there the rest of the numbers that are left and the rest of your fingers that are left, you multiply them together. Two times four is eight. So we got 10, 20, 30, 40, 48. That's what six times eight is. So what we're gonna do right now is just go through and confirm that that's the case, right? So let's start off with um, with six, right? We're gonna use this one as, uh, as our six and we're gonna go down the road six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to multiply six by six, and this one is, uh, this one and the next one are unique because six times six is the two thumbs touching together, right? So this is a ten, and this is a ten, and then you have four times four, and four times four is sixteen. So you have ten twenty plus sixteen, which is thirty-six, which is what six times six is. Let's say for the next number, we're going to multiply six times seven. So you take your six and you take your seven and you touch them together. So six times seven is 10, 20, 30, right? And then you have three, three times four, which is 12, right? So 30 plus 12 is 42, which is what six times seven is, right? If you go to six times eight, I take my eighth finger, eight position anyway, and six position, multiply them together. 8 times 6 is 10, 20, 30, 40. And then you got 2 times 4, which is 8. So that's 48. 6 times 9, you got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 
right? And then 1 times 4 is 4. So 6 times 9 is 54. 6 times 10, that's an easy one. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, right? We have four numbers left here, but we've got no numbers left on this hand. So 4 times 0 is just 0. So 6 times 10 is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, right? Let's go up to the 7 digit, right? Let's see what these numbers multiplied by 7 look like. We already did 7 times 6, right? Because 6 times 7 is the same thing as 7 times 6. So we're going to skip that. We're going to go to 7 times 7. 7 times 7 is 10, 20, 30, 40. And then we've got 3 times 3, which is 9. 7 times 7 is 49. 7 times 8 is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 2 times 3 is 6. So 7, 7 times 8 is 56. 7 times 9, we got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 1 times 3 is 3. So 7 times 9 is 63. 7 times 10, right? This is the 10th position. Is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And then we've got 3 times 0, which is 0. So 7 times 10 is 70, right? Let's go to 8. Well, as before, we did 6 times 8 and 7 times 8. So we can skip those two, 8 times 6 and 8 times 7. We're going to go to 8 times 8. 8 times 8 is... 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And then we've got 2 times 2, which is 4. So 8 times 8 is 64, right? 8 times 9, we got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And then 1 times 2 is 2. So 8 times 9 is 72, right? 8 times 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. And zero at the back, right? So ten times uh, eight times ten is eighty, right? That's eight fingers, eight tens. We got up. What we're going to do is go to nine. Nine times six we've already done. It's the same thing as six times nine. Nine times seven. Nine times eight we've already done. Now what we're going to do is do nine times nine. Nine times nine is ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. Eighty. And at the back, we've got 1 times 1, which is 1. So 9 times 9 is 81. 9 times 10 is going to be 90. And there's a 0 at the back, right? So 9 times 10 is 90. And then the last digit we have is the 10th position, right? So 10 times 10, because we've done 10 times all the other ones, right? We did 10 times 6, 10 times 7, 10 times 8, 10 times 9. So 10 times 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, right? So 10 times 10 is 100, okay? And those are the only two hand tricks that I know um, of, uh, you know, tricks that you can use to learn your multiplication table. And um, at, at, at a certain point, if you do enough of this, you will learn your multiplication table, and it's a pretty important thing to know. It's uh, basically, uh, the basis of uh, sort of where you have to start uh, because multiplication is an extension of addition, right? So if you don't know how to multiply, um, you're stuck with addition and subtraction, right? And from there, that's basically us dealing uh, the first basically two or you can call it four different operations we do with um, the real number set, with numbers that we encounter. And that's it. Uh, those are the two little hand tricks that I know of how to use multiplication and uh, um, two, um, two tools in my toolbox now. Okay, and I thought I'd share it with you guys and I uh, thought you might like. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.